Hey guys, yep. what's going on? This is your friend Brick coming at you fast with a new video, and this time we are playing some large. Destiny. That's right, Destiny, the super awesome new game by Bungie, first-person shooter RPG MMO, whatever you want to call it. It's made by Interceptor Bungie. It's like a mix between Borderlands and Halo. And to be honest, guys, the game is freaking sweet. I love the game. I've been playing the beta nonstop. It's yeah, an absolutely addicting and very well made game and I'm sure everybody's gonna like it as soon as they get their hands on it on release date September 9th but what I'm here to talk to you guys about is what in my opinion what the best class out of the three classes that you are offered that's Titan Hunter and Warlock which class is the best for PvP or crucible gameplay or matchmaking gameplay whichever way you want to put it PvP, you go into the Crucible and you fight other real-life players. The best class for that, in my opinion, is the Hunter. And I'm here to tell you why. So the gameplay that you're seeing here is a gameplay that I took of the Hunter. And uh, the Hunter Another, uh, is a very, 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 very quick moving soldier. Amongst uh, Titan and Warlock, he is the fastest and most agile, which is my first reason for him being the best Dude, my uh, is best class, in my opinion. You're going to see in this gameplay, I go off at the end of the game. I do show the score yeah, uh, and my KD at the got, end, damn, I got which is very, very good in my opinion. Yeah, and I do get on a 16, safe. that's right, 16 kill streak that's why I said in this like game, so which is very, about, very, very, very difficult. It's very difficult to get on kill streaks in this game. I can tell you guys already. If you get a double yeah. kill, you are pretty good at the game, or the other two people are really, really bad at the game. Because it's very difficult to go on high kill streaks. because you can be shut down by vehicles, you can be shut down by supers, you can be shut down by heavy weapons like rockets. So it's very difficult to uh, play a fair game once everybody gets their overpowered weaponry and supers that they can kill you with. So, it is very difficult to go on streaks, but I do manage to go on a really good one. As you guys will see here, what I'm using, I'm using the Scout Rifle, the Trax Malice 3 Green Scout Rifle, and I'm also using a Sniper Rifle as a secondary on the other map in the beta, which known as Shores of Time, which is on Venus. I tend to use the shotgun because it's very close range. But like I said, guys, the Hunter is the fastest amongst the other three, which makes him the hardest target to hit when he's strafing and when he's moving across the map which is already, he has the movement advantage over the other two. The double jump is a very good elevation boost, and it's very quick. You don't glide through the air, you don't stay in the air for too long, because what I've noticed is the Warlock and the Titan, when they're using their jetpacks and their glide, they stay in the air too long, they just go really, really slow. And they're vulnerable, very vulnerable, because they can't use their guns. So it's very, very, very easy to pick them off. Every time I see a warlock, I just say in my head, wow, you're stupid. Don't glide, dude. Don't glide. Because I just shoot them in the head three times with my scout rifle and they die. Or I shoot them once with my sniper rifle and they die. And it's very, very easy. So that's the number one tip right there, guys. If you're a warlock, don't glide too much. But no, seriously. The PvP that the hunter can do is pretty impressive. Because, for example, uh, he can outplay a titan very easily. If there's a person behind a wall and you are a hunter and you are farther away from them, they're using that wall for cover. They're shooting at you, they're applying pressure. You notice that the shot shots stop firing, that means they're reloading. So they're reloading behind that wall. They don't know you're coming unless they're looking at the radar, which they're probably 98% of the people should look at the radar. The radar is amazing in this game. So, that's the thing that's so what you would do is you'd grab your shotgun or assault rifle or whatever and you'd run up but instead of going left or right, you would jump over the wall as a hunter very, very quickly. And all you have to do is just shoot them with a shotgun and knife them or, you know, throwing knife them or whatever you need to do and you'll kill them super quick. They won't even realize what happened because they'll be too busy looking at the radar. They're like, oh, this guy's going to go from the left or the right. But they're like, holy shit, <laughs> he just killed me from above. What the hell did I just do? What the hell just happened? So hunters are very, very versatile, uh, which brings me to the second point, the specials, the special that the hunter has. So the grenades that the hunter has, the incendiary grenade, in my opinion, the is the best grenade in multiplayer because it has the highest chance of killing people anyway. with, yeah, one, with one throw. Just with a grenade. If you throw this grenade right under somebody's feet, they will die instantly. If you throw it a little bit to the right of them, they'll take a lot of damage, and they'll also take burn damage over time because it is an incendiary grenade. So this grenade 
can deal a lot of damage and it only just takes one Maybe or two shots from your scout rifle and gone. you will be able to kill these uh, people that are capturing flags or whatever it is they're doing. And the second uh, special, which is the throwing knife that the hunter has, which is just a long-range melee. And this beats the other two melees that the other two classes have because it has a longer range. And if you get a headshot with this, it is actually a one-shot yeah, kill for the most part. I mean, if the ti if there's like a titan with uh, really good armor, it might be they might be one shot, but it does a severe amount of damage and it can actually kill people in one melee if you do hit the throwing knife in the head. And I know that sounds really, really hard, but the throwing knife is actually very easy Ooh, to manage because of the low gravity in this game. So the throwing knife doesn't has, have as much drop as per se one would in Call of Duty. So the hunter, very versatile, very quick fighter. In a balanced multiplayer, the amount of armor does not matter. So the hunter's lack of armor does not carry over into PvP. He has the same amount of armor as a Warlock and a Titan. But the speed does carry over. The speed does make a difference. And the Hunter is quicker. Also, when you can upgrade to the Triple Jump, the Hunter just because becomes a very hard target to hit when he's jumping around in the air everywhere. Especially if he has a, a Fusion Rifle or a Shotgun. A very dastardly weapon. So, those are two reasons why the Hunter is good. They have really good specials, and they have really good mobility Let me stop sucking a third reason for a second, because please. of the supercharge that the hunter has the titan and the warlock both use their supercharges instantly they can only use it right away as soon as they activate it and they kill people in that area of effect usually that's only yeah, one person sometimes if they're capturing an objective it might be two people that you can kill with that but with the hunter's golden gun you can usually find at least two people every single time if you use it correctly in the right moment you can easily hit three targets because the golden gun is incredibly accurate and it goes on for a, a short period of time it's not instant it actually lasts for a little while so you can actually have enough time to find those three people and kill them all or at least two usually when i get a golden gun i get two kills and it's very very useful because there it one shot go. kills everything it one it beats out any gun starting to basically heat up a so little bit. that's the third oh, shit, reason why i think that the hunter is the best Don't pdp Mobility is the biggest reason. Being able to dodge shots and move around the map very quickly is very important in my opinion in PvP, and it can really win a lot of gunfights. Oh, of course, shit. all the classes can be good at PvP. You don't just have to be a hunter to be good at PvP. I was using a Titan earlier, and I was still doing really, really well, but in my opinion, I feel like the hunter just has a small advantage because of, because of its mobility and its throwing oh. knife and its supercharge. So... There you have it guys. That's that's why I think that the hunter is the best PvP. Also, its abilities are pretty pretty good, especially uh one that is called Chain of Woe. Basically, every time you get a precision kill, your reload speed increases. So every time you get a kill with a headshot, your reload speed increases and it can stack up to 3 times and it lasts for a good 10 10 seconds if you can stack it. If it stacks once, it's once it's uh, seven seconds. If it stacks twice, it's ten seconds. And if it's three times, I believe it's twelve <laughs> seconds. But that can still be very very useful, especially if you're using scout rifles. Which brings me to my next point: why I think that scout rifles are the best weapon because they can outrange an assault rifle, hand cannon, and a pulse rifle. They're very very accurate, and if you get three headshots, you'll drop someone instantly. So if you just aim for the head, you can outplay any other gun in the game unless it's an LMG because obviously those are heavy weapons. Those are meant to beat regular weaponry. But the uh, again, the skills that the hunter has with the precision that comes from using scout rifles make scout rifles the best pair with the hunter in my opinion. As well as sniper rifles, of course. But that's just another story, another topic for another time. So you guys heard it here. You guys heard it first, my opinion, from playing the beta for for a lot. I played the beta a lot, guys. <laughs> it, I've I've literally no life this beta. I've played a uh, lot of it. And I can say I've used all three classes in PvP, and in my opinion, I think the Hunter yeah, is just the best. It's the most fluid, down he's by the quickest, he has the best specials when it comes to PvP, the most useful ones. And his supercharge is just... Unbelievably it's still, it's insane. Still not unbroken. <laughs> it's still not so I hope you game, guys enjoyed this video. Hey, I hope you guys found it helpful. Maybe you Holy will crap, think sniper. about joining the hunter squad and becoming a hunter yourself. A Maybe it suits you more than the other classes do. And hopefully everything will work out just fine, guys. Hopefully 
you will all enjoy playing as a hunter for PvP. But, I mean, if you can make a warlock, if you can make a titan work for you, fantastic. But again, guys, this is my opinion. Agree Come with on. it, disagree with it, anything you really want to do with it. Glitch. Just throwing it out there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did find this video helpful, yeah, there we go. please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And enjoy the rest of the gameplay, guys. See you later. Oh, he's at zone C. Heavy ammo inbound. Oh, wow, that's an interceptor. Yep, no way I'm beating him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. That guy just lost and he had an LMG. Wow. That sucks for him. Not only am I getting kills, I'm also playing objectively, dude. I've captured C like three times now. Only one minute left. Mm. Oops, excuse me. You neutralize those that was little purpose. Zone B lost. Zone C. Oh crap! That's an interceptor. We're running away from that. Yeah, I'm a golden gun. I'm nice. Seconds. All right, my friend needs to move here. I'm trying to understand where this person is. Don't see lost. Only ten seconds left. Enemy captured zone C. Enemy captured zone B. How oh, about we won? Oh, that was a beautiful grenade at the end. Let's take a look at our score, boys. That 16 kill streak should have done something, I'm sure. Yep, 5.2. Look at that. Look at that.